Hello, goblins. And welcome to another episode of Daniel unboxes a box and tells you whether or not things inside it are worth your time. This time we have special editions of the Death Disc World book. I originally thought you could not get these in the United States, but after I actually ordered them through some weird circumstances, I found out that you know you can order them and get them directly sent to you in the United States. So I took extra steps that I did not need to take, and you can get these right now through a link I have in the description, whether in the UK or the United States, and I assume other countries as well. I really wanted these special editions because they look really pretty. They're they're very nice for Discworld, and I am just kind of slowly becoming a more and more uh, brainwashed mega fan as a whole. Now, before we get into this though, you might notice this is like the most beat up box I've ever been sent in my entire life, which is an impressive thing to say. Some of it might be intentional. I'm not sure because the box has clearly been decorated to have like a Discworld aesthetic to it. They have like fun little stickers on there and it says like squeak, squeak, rattle, uh, printed paper things all over it. It also says fragile handle with care and yet it looked like it went three rounds with Mike Tyson. So let's see if the books survived and if they didn't this will be the saddest episode of Daniel Review Special Editions we've ever seen. Okay. And this video is brought to you by Curiosity Stream. Curiosity Stream is without a doubt the best bang for your buck sponsor I have here on the channel. You can have access to countless documentaries, educational content that covers the gambit of categories, whether it's dinosaurs or true crime, dinosaur true crime, that, okay, maybe not that one, but they have so much available for the cost of like a streaming service a month, but for the whole year, that's a good deal. This is measuring tape. I don't know if that was clear or not. So go ahead and use the link in the description down below. Sign up for Curiosity Stream today and start browsing hand curated selections with award winning content that really you're, you're not gonna be able to watch it all. There's so much. Just, just, just give it a go. Give it a little looky loo. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely not sure if the box being beat up is like part of some joke. Cause like the fragile handle of care is like where things are like most beaten up. This is interesting. Let's get into it. Uh, uh okay. How am I supposed to, what the, is this like one solid piece of cardboard? What's happening? Okay. Ah. Okay, so well, it turns out that box was beat to hell. These were packaged pretty thoroughly with multiple layers. So I have faith, at least somewhat, uh, that these are gonna hold up and still not be super damaged. I hope. All right, nice. Your receipt from the Thieves Guild. Your caring professional wealth reallocators. Keep this receipt as proof of license theft. A message from our postal department. To minimize inconvenience, you have been preemptively relieved of some or all of the contents of this package or letter. This package or letter was opened by Polyglob. I, all I want to steal is your heart. Igor pays a dollar for a fresh one. License thief. Oh, I love this packaging so, so much. Oh, and the price of this for me to order from the UK is there, but I've been made aware that it's available from like multiple sellers, so you might be able to find it for a cheaper or more expensive one. All the books look like they are in fantastic condition. Oh, look at that. I love this. So this one is Mort and it looks beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna be so happy to have these on my shelves. Then next up we have, ooh, a thicker Discworld book. We have Hogfather, that makes sense, with a nice little well, Christmas look to it, which I very much so enjoy. That is beautiful. Uh, follow that up with, let's just go with, I think this is gonna be Reaper Man. Yep, Reaper Man right here. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. This is beautiful. okay. This is gonna get, um, okay, I haven't opened them. I must wait until I open them. That is important. Uh, now we have Soul Music. Oh, it's nice. There's far too many strings on that guitar. <laughs> It's beautiful. Um, the color palette is also, I really like this type of color palette. I don't know what it's called. Someone who's artistic, let me know. And then we're gonna have some more looks at that. It's all pretty, it's all nice. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. All right, now it's time for me to do my full thorough inside out inspection. Let's see what you get with these books. The texture on these is really nice. Uh, this is a very nice 
feeling book to hold. It also doesn't feel very fragile. It feels sturdy and like it has a really nice balanced line of aesthetically looking and feeling next level while, while not necessarily falling into that. I don't want to touch it because it feels like it's going to fall apart or I'm going to like leave oil on it and hurt it. It's Catholic territory, which I think is great. I just noticed they do, uh, they do come with these little tails for those of you who like the little book tails. I don't know what the actual word for these is, but you got a little tail going on. I don't know anyone who actually uses those though, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so I'm a bit more mixed now that I've gone through all these um, and I have things to say. So as I said, the overall feel, the texture, the reading experience having it in hand is pretty much the best you can get for a hardback because it's not so nice. You feel like you're gonna risk breaking it and ruining it by touching it, um, but it's also definitely next level, good texture, not too heavy. All of them are filling in there. So the outside, I'm a big fan of. The inside, um, you're not really getting anything special whatsoever. The paper quality is, I would say, standard for a hardback, which is nice and fine. Um, I noticed a couple small things that came in, like I have a weird dent in this page right here. I'll try and get a photo of it. So they're, they're not 100% top quality, I'd say like premium condition. And then there's also no special content inside, I would say at all. Um, it, it seems that they have been just, they just put the stories in, which is fine. Like you don't need to put in a ton of maps or bonus content for things like these, but it, it did bother me a smidge. It's like, hey, put the turtle with some elephants in there or give me like a couple shots of death. I would like that, but it's not necessarily a priority for them, I, I guess with these ones. So that knocks it down a little bit. I enjoy the inside bonus content. Give me some pictures and maps, especially maps. Give me maps, I like maps. Um, so I'm generally happy. I think this is a very, I'd say worth the money I paid, especially if you do not have the Discworld books you really want and you want something that's going to look really nice on a shelf. Um, it doesn't fall into some of the problems we've seen with certain special editions where they're just reprints and they're the same thing. Uh, no, they're different colors, different covers. Each one feels like its own unique story and exterior aesthetic for that story. And this one for some reason is lacking the tail that the other ones have, I don't know why. Overall, I would say this was a good worth the money experience without uh, stepping into the excellent territory. Just good, worth the money, no major complaints. Uh, I'm gonna give it a solid seven out of 10. That's gonna be in the I approve territory, but no, if you're looking for like something on the level of like the Stormlight Archive leather bound, not there, obviously. But this actually I would say is more readable than those because you know, it's not. It's not leather and like covered in gold inlay you're gonna accidentally pull off. Uh, so for some people who just care about the actual reading, these are probably even better than those. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think of these Discworld books in the comments down below. Do you love them? Do you hate them? And have a good one, y'all. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon for more support what I do here. Peace.